The program I participate in year to year, like it's a seasonal job, is single track to success. It's like I maintain mountain bike trails, and sometimes in the spring we teach others how to uh, how to maintain trails or build their own trails for in their own communities. Usually the age range is like pretty sure it's fourteen, because that's when I started when I started working in like it was my first summer job ever, so. Like is, so I got my sin number made out for this friggin' this job. So I think that's like the age range we would aim for. But like, the limit is kind of like to your own physical limits or to your own mental like uh, like kind of confidence or whatever to to do it. But like it's there's like other ways you could help too. I mean, it's, I mean other than that, there's like. It's kind of up to you for the the, the limit. It's like fourteen is the youngest, and the limit is like, like your own. What do you call it again? Like your to your, to your own, own risk yeah. to add your own. <laughs> like on the mountain bike trails that we have here, it says at your own risk. Yeah. Usually, people who like to hike or outdoors, pe outdoorsy people like. I don't know. We don't want to get them like someone out in the wilderness where they like. They don't know what they're doing, they're like how to when they're in a dangerous situation or something. But like, people that are like co confident with out in the land and just like to have fun and get adrenaline rushes. <laughs> the aim is just to get people out on the land, get the economy of the, like the community a little higher through, just through tourism and like getting people, getting that town noticed through mountain biking and like. Things like that, I guess. I mean, other than that, it's just like just changing your your work ethics, if you want, if you will. Like, if you really put your time and effort into it, it changes the way you th you think on like hard work and just like just everything in life. It just makes it a little better in small ways, just to improve efficiency on trail maintaining and like. I don't know. It's, it's, that's the only thing I could think of is like the most efficient way to like make a trail, but like without making a big impact on the land, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like that's what my boss Derek always tries to aim for. Is like you want. He's always like. We, I don't know. We I, we always like to use hand tools. We don't like to use machinery usually. But when we do, it's like it's very mi not minor, but like for the very major kind of jobs that we need done like making a huge making a huge like jump or something either like you could be the logistics part of the business like learn how to finance and stuff or just learn how to be like a labor worker but like working with the hand tools and I don't know or else you could be like a if you're a heavy mechanic operator you could be like I mean, heavy machinery operator, like, you could use the excavator or whatever, like, to help us out with those major jobs, like I mentioned earlier. Or, like, I don't know, that's, like, the, what we can ver vary for, for, like, education that's kind of required for it. But for, like, labor-wise, it's, like, it's kind of just labor. Just need to, just need to think positive and... Uh, get, get the right things, I guess. I mean, just to get the right amount of energy for the day. Mm -hmm. and like that's the only education I think I could, you could put out there is like physical education. I've noticed positive changes in the people that participated in it, and yeah, like I think it very uh changed changed like some people's like not behaviors, but like their. The routines kind of thing. So, like, I don't know. I, most of the people I work with on the trails are like my family and stuff. So indigenous to me would be like adversity through through trial and error. I mean, like that's all I could really say. I mean, like the any any human being doesn't know everything they know just when they're born, like, you learn from your mistakes, and, I don't know, 
you just move on and look forward. I mean, like, that's what a indigenous means to me. I mean, like, just adversing through compromise. Education would be, like, kind of a must now in their modern, wor modern world. Like, there's... It's, like... It's always going to be there, but, like... It's always nice to learn, like, things off of the land. And I feel like the, the future for indigenous education is... Is bright in Kirkross. I don't know. I don't know the details. I mean, like, but I know there's people in CTFN that are organizing, like a like a literacy kind of education for everyone, kind of thing, for everyone to learn, like for like our language from just from the basic phrases to anything else. If it wasn't for like the together today for children tomorrow, we wouldn't have like any of the self-government, like, privileges or anything. So I'm pretty grateful for that. I mean, I think that's a big push that needs to be done across Canada for, in order to get Indigenous education in general going. So I think that's, like, my thoughts on the future. More confidence to know that there's people behind me to to at least, like, support what I'm saying, I guess, or what I'm, like, achieving, trying to achieve, I guess, like, my goals. And, like, that's anyone's kind of, like, not opinion, like, not dreams, but, like, what they would hope for.